Hello, my name is Eduardo Lopez, and here we have an image called the firing of the buffalo. So to begin, this is an ink wash painting, and um, right away we can tell that there are we have some organic beings here: um, a human, horse, and buffalo. Here we can see um, very dark and light colors regarding time. We can see that it's roughly during the day. I mean, not many conquistadors are going to be out at night shooting, or they won't even be able to see. They don't have any light of any kind, so you can say this is around the day. Um, also, we have some direction going on here. Um, you can see the horse is heading in one way, like that way, and we also have the buffalo that is trying to run away from the conquistador as he's pointing his gun at him. You can also see the buffalo in the way back running, all going the same in the same direction. Maybe they're just moving away, or they're also afraid of other conquistadors that are shooting at them. Um, we could also see vertical placement here, as the as the things in the front are close up to us and things in the way back are really far and very small as we can tell. I mean, there's no way this buffalo could be bigger than a tiny buffalo if it's just placement, we can tell. Um, we also have um, some lines here in the grass, some very light touched brushed grass, you can tell some dark colors, light colors in there, there's a neutral painting as well, ne neutral colors, I mean, we only have blacks and whites and grays, no true colors, no primary or things like that, um, we can also tell that as a point of emphasis, the buffalo and the conquistador are are the main thing here. I mean, they're brought up. They're uh, in a big area here. Main thing in the painting. I mean, it's not like we're focusing on small buffaloes or anything else or the sky. I mean, it's basically just this main thing here. Um, we do have some implied movement, like I said. We have some like direction that way and that way. We have the cookies that are aiming down at him. So I guess we can say he's the main point of emphasis. Not so much the conquistador, but the buffalo himself. Um, um, as far as overlapping, we, we could say we have some overlapping. I mean, the buffalo and the, and the conquistador are basically overlapping any other axis things. I mean, we don't really focus on like the background and the other buffaloes. I mean, they're the main point here. Um, we do have quite a bit of space, I guess we can say, as far as relative sky. Um, <laughs> proportion. Um, we can say they are pretty good proportion of size. I mean, I mean, obviously our horse is way bigger than our human, which makes sense. I mean, how else would you ride him? As well as the buffalo, I mean, a bit bigger, running away, afraid of the conquistador with the weapon. Maybe he's already shot at him, and he's afraid, or he hears the, the sounds of the weapon going off. So that could be it. We do have some, uh, like a horizontal line, I guess you can say. We can, I mean, it's rough, but we can see it. It's really just this line to give us this ideal space that we have going on. Um,